Hey everyone, Alex from Nerds Being Geeks here, and I got my very first AOK. -okay. If you don't know what the fuck that means, it means act of kindness. Let's open this bad boy up. Before we get into this AOK, -okay, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Tyler, who sent this to me. Um, he asked me not to shout him out. Tough titty, I'm doing it anyways. He is a, a, a reseller of comic books and uh, action figures, toys, video games, consoles, all that stuff. I'll put a link to his eBay page below. Go check it out if you're looking for some vintage toys, some vintage video games, uh, any of that good stuff. Uh, he is selling it. So, uh... Let's crack this bad boy up and get into it. All right, so I see uh, the top thing. It is, uh, it's hilarious. Oh. All right, I'm going to, I don't know where these flaps look like, so I'm going to set this down. Didn't want to block the camera. All right, so let's check this out. Uh, my buddy Tyler, Knows uh, I'm into wrestling. So uh, he got this DVD set of uh, the 10 greatest cage matches of all time. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely watch that. I, uh, I, I uh, got back, back into wrestling a few years ago and uh, I've enjoyed it a lot. Uh, just something to look forward to every single week. There's no off season. Uh, even during COVID, so yeah, it was something I really enjoyed as a uh, as a kid. Uh, so it's kind of nostalgia there as well. And then uh, yeah, just something to look forward to every week to watch. Just kind of unwind and uh, turn your brain off and just enjoy some good old fashioned wrestling. All right, so the next thing that was right under the DVDs is this uh, second series here now. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles card stickers and bubblegum. I'm not sure. This, is, this looks like a, looks like the poster in the set of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which go, it would go great with my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade one-up cab. You can find a spot for it somewhere. Hey, that's awesome. Oh boy, there is a lot of books in here. So uh phew, let's get in let's get into this. So I'm just gonna pull them right out. There's two different stacks, and uh, I'm just gonna pull them right off the top. This one is uh oh the cover's detached almost. But it, it is a uh, Thor 226, uh, a really awesome Galactus cover. He knows I'm a fan of Galactus and uh, Thor, so that's really cool. This thing is beat to shit. This is probably like, uh, like a uh, a 1.0 or a five. Just it is. But I will never. Uh, say no to a free comic book, especially one with Galactus on it. Next up is Superman 280. <laughs> I was looking at the back of it and someone drew on this kid's knees. Uh, I don't know. I don't know much about Superman. What? So this is... Okay, 1974. Duel of the Diamond Demons. Hey, that's cool. Uh, it's a book I definitely don't have. 
I will I will check it out for sure. Well, all right, so we got some Marvel Tales 82. Uh, I do know for a fact I have this issue. Um, I believe this was the 70s as well. 77. So uh, in uh, so there was like a run of like 10 issues from like the 70s uh, to like the number 80s of uh, Marvel Tales. And it belonged to my dad when he was a kid. And, uh, that those are the books that I learned to like read off of, or like I just read over and over again, where these Marvel tales, I can't remember if it was like 73 to like seven, I mean, 73 to like 85, somewhere around there. Um, once I see them, I'll know for sure which ones they are, but I know I have this one, but, uh, doesn't hurt to have another. All right. We got another Superman book. Issue 275. Yeah, and, uh, you know, these books are not in uh, good condition, but uh, if you know the way I collect, that's that's okay. I am just all about comic book accumulation. Uh, I'm not a flipper. Uh, I don't keep everything pristine. I like to read a lot of my stuff. So that's cool. Like I said, I'm not a big Superman fan either, but I mean, I'm not going to turn it down. That's for sure. 1974. Oh yeah, here we go. Tomb of Dracula. 48. I honestly don't know if I have this one. That's a sweet cover though. Oh, and it looks like Blade appears in it, too. And uh, Hannibal King. Well, that's awesome. <sighs> Tyler is such a good friend. As he knows, uh, Batman, the New 52, issue 36. And uh, I think this was the... The, yeah, this was the Loot Crate exclusive. Working on that run. Getting close. I'm under 10 issues left. Alright, yeah, so some more Marvel Tales. Uh, featuring Spider-Man. This is Marvel Tales 87. I do remember this book. Uh, cause this was also part of that Marvel Tales run that my dad had when he was a kid and, uh, that I grew up reading. Um, but yeah, I do have this one, but I will always take another. All right. So next up Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man issue 78. You know what? I actually don't have this book. Uh, that's a cool goblin cover. I don't know which issue this one uh, covers. I'm not sure, but yeah, that'll help a Marvel Tales run. That's for sure. But I know I don't have that one. All right, we got another Marvel Tales. Issue 89. Once again, this was part of my dad's run. I do remember this one with uh, the Gibbon on it. And uh, the Marvel, if you didn't know, the Marvel Tales uh, stuff is all reprints. Um, but hey, I, I don't care. I'm all about uh, collecting, all about. Um, you know, accumulation, just filling up those short boxes, seeing what runs I can get. And I'm a big Spider-Man fan, and I don't have a lot of, maybe, I probably have around 20 issues of the Marvel Tales. So, hey, I do not mind adding to them. Alright, we got Marvel Tales 85. I honestly, by the cover, I don't recall if I have this one or not. But, uh, I'll have to check it out.
All right, so we got some more Marvel Tales, issue 79. Cool Green Goblin uh, cover. I know I don't have this one. And, uh, man, definitely take it. All right, so next up, we got a Marvel team up featuring Spider Man and Iron Man. Issue 72. Don't have that one. Don't have many of the Marvel team up stuff. That's cool. Man, it's going to be a long video. I have a lot of books in here. I might start going a little bit quicker. Uh, so Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man, and Red Sonja, so Son Sonya. I actually haven't read any of her stuff. But this is issue 79. Alright, got another Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man and Daredevil, issue 73. Oh, this is sweet. These are uh, reprints of early Spider-Man book and books, and these are on like um, newspaper printing. Uh, I do have a few of them, but I don't know. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head which ones I have. But uh, this one is a reprint of Spider-Man issue six. I don't think I have that one. It's the first lizard. All right, this one is the same. It is a reprint of The Amazing Spider-Man. Number five, great early Doctor Doom cover. Even with the re reprint, I'm, uh, I'm happy to get this. Uh, any, any early Doom stuff is awesome. All right, so this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man uh, number four. This is also... Uh, that reprint it looks like it's a different cover than the actual number four uh, which I believe is the first appearance of Sandman and I think they did that on some of those books oh okay here we go so yeah here is another one of those uh, newspaper printings of the amazing spider-man this is number four another first appearance of the Sandman All right, we got Amazing Spider-Man number three reprint. First Doc Ock. And another reprint, different cover. Amazing Spider-Man number three, first appearance of Doc Ock. These things are really cool. They're, uh... Excuse me. They are, um... Just like I said, reprints of early Spider-Man stuff. They're cheap. And uh, like if you just want to read the stuff or have like copies of them, they could be run fillers because some of these early books are really hard to get. So I, I really enjoy these, these, uh, these reprints. All right. So uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man number two. It looks like the Tinkerer is on the cover. This is different than the original issue number two like the cover wise but part of that newspaper printing all right and another one amazing spider-man number two first vulture oh baby reprint of amazing spider-man number one I actually have a few different reprints of that one. Well, here we go. I'm about to have even more reprints of uh, number one. And here's a different cover of uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one. 
I believe that's also the first appearance of the chameleon. Oh yeah. Even uh, better than number one. Reprint of Amazing Fantasy 15. First appearance of Spider-Man. Like these things are awesome just to flip through and just to like actually read those stories. Oh man, okay. I'm excited for uh, for what's next. Uh, if you don't know, uh, uh, something about me is I'm a big uh, Chris Carter fan uh, of the X-Files and of... Well, he had the lone gunman for like one season or a few episodes. And then uh, the show Millennium. So uh, Millennium had like three seasons. And uh, I'm a big fan. I do have some of the comics. I have uh, a box set signed by uh, Skinner. And when I got to meet him in Dallas. And I also got to meet Agent Scully in Dallas. And she signed my X-Files box set. So... Uh, I'm a big X-Files fan, and I see some X-Files comics, so I'm pretty excited. So this is the IDW run. Um, so this is the X-Files issue 10. I don't have any of the IDW stuff. I have like a lot of the Tops books from the from the 90s. And as uh, my favorite character, Cigarette Smoking Man on there. If you know nothing about the X-Files, then some of the stuff might get lost on you. But uh, I highly recommend going back and at least watching the X-Files uh, mythology episodes. And that that's like the true story of like uh, the characters, like Mulder's journey and uh, Scully's journey. And it deals with the, the aliens and not just like the monsters of the week, which are great too. I love the monsters of the week but the mythology episodes are where the story really lies to awesome all right so another idw book this is x files 11 oh okay this is a random one uh frank miller's the ronin Book one. Let me know what you guys think about that. I uh, actually bought this maybe a year or two ago in uh, trade paperback. It was uh, interesting. Not my not my favorite Frank Miller stuff, that's for sure. But oh yeah, here we go. Some of the 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 tops comics X Files issues I don't know if I have this one I'll have to check my app but I'm gonna start setting the books down here cuz uh yeah the stack over here is getting big all right the X-Files issue 14 tops comics Talk, Tops Comics, Issue Zero, The X Files. I I don't have that one. All right, X Files, Issue Four. I really love the art on uh on these comics. Uh, the cover, I, uh, it really just screams like 90s to me. This is, uh, X Files issue three, by the way. X Files issue 13. X-Files Special Edition number one. X-Files issue 14. Uh, 
I know I'm speeding through these because um, there's still a lot left in here. But uh, I, I, I love the X-Files. This is great. All right, so I got a Topps number one uh, comics digester. Kind of reminds me of like an ash can. But uh, X-Files number one. All right, shooting back over to IDW run. This is a one shot. And shooting back over to Topps Comics issue seven of the X Files. All right, up next we have The Mighty Four. Up next we have The Mighty Thor, issue 465. Fighting a Super Scroll. All right, got Marvel Age, issue 47. Justice League Annual, number two, 1984. All right, back on that uh, Amazing Spider-Man reprints. Issue number six, got the lizard. Another Spider-Man issue number five. Doom. Amazing Spider-Man reprint. Issue 11. Return of Doc Ock. Hey, we got another Return of Doc Ock. ASM 11. Amazing Spider-Man number 10 versus the Enforcers. Amazing Spider-Man number 9. Electro. And this is like the OG cover for Amazing Spider-Man number 10 with the Enforcers. Another amazing Spider-Man number nine, it's Electro. I think this is going to be as close as I get to actually, uh, you know, getting some of these books. They're uh, quite expensive, and uh, they're 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 good uh, spot fillers for some of these early ASM books. Amazing. Sp Amazing Spider-Man number eight. Amazing Spider-Man number eight. Amazing Spider-Man number eight. Amazing Spider-Man, number seven. All right, so we're at the bottom of the box now, and uh, it looks like we have some of these. I recognize these. These are the uh, X-Files uh, cards that you would find in the VHS tapes and these are like collector cards 
Um, I think they also had some of these cards in some of the box sets as well. Uh, but I have them in my VHS tapes. All right, so at the very bottom of the box, I have this X-Files laser disc. I do have uh, some of the other X-Files uh, laser disc collections. Um, this is cool. I don't have this one though. Yeah, these things are huge. Still has the laser disc inside. I do not have a laser disc player, so this is just to kind of show off. But it's cool that you could like frame it and put in like an album frame. Yo, it's your boy Alex from Nerds Being Geeks. All right, so usually I take individual photos of my books and I put them, you know, I do a close up scan of them and put them under or behind or whatever. I put them in the video uh, after I've already gone over the book, but uh, there's over 50 books in this AOK, -OK, and I'm not taking 50 pictures. So I'm gonna do a quick scan of all the books that uh, were in this AOK, -OK, and I just want to say, Thanks for all the comic books. There was a lot here. Um, all right, yeah, let's do the let's uh, scan over them real quick. Sorry, I'm doing this uh, off of my phone, and uh, that's uh, as good as it's gonna get. All right, let's do this. All right, so I am doing a quick scan of the books that were in the say okay. Forgive the shaky cam. I am trying not to step on any of them. There is probably a better way to do this, but this is what I'm doing. So get over it. Got some red sausage, some iron mink, some classic Marvel tales. And I do not this is the uh, first copy of uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 uh, like that I've ever had. Like uh, no other reprint is the only one I have. So I'm pretty excited to have that. Uh, I do have a reprint of Amazing Spider-Man 1, but I will gladly take another one. So what I like about these, uh, I don't know the exact name of it, the collectible series, are like the alternate covers. And, uh, I know I kind of went over some of them in, uh, in the video. I tried to put them next to each other. So there's what the original cover of Amazing Spider-Man 3 looked like. And here is the variant or alternate or whatever you want to call it. Some Sandman. Three number eights. Love some early doom. And here's them X Files. Oh, glare. So as I was uh, recording the all of the comics, I was thinking, why didn't I just do that instead of spending 30 minutes going over the books that no one can even see on camera because of the glare? 
could have saved myself 25 minutes of filming and editing and mother f all right everyone so that was my very first aok -okay. i really appreciate it uh my friend tyler just wanted to surprise me support the channel i uh, i really appreciate that uh tyler is also uh, a salesman of collectibles comics trading cards uh action figures uh video games i'll put a link to his ebay page below so if you're into any of that collecting of those items go check them out uh i really appreciate it tyler thanks for the a-ok -okay. uh really excited this is my very first one um very thankful there's a lot of stuff i didn't have i really like those asm reprints um some really cool covers and uh like a great way to actually read those early ditko stanley spider-man stories uh, along with all the x-file stuff i never turned down x-file stuff it's one of the greatest shows of all time one of my favorite shows so i'm very excited about that so i appreciate it and uh thanks for watching this video uh, thanks Comics everywhere! <laughs>